So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozzuolo from Curval.com and today I am going to show you five tips I bet you didn't know about Power BI, just in a second. Okay, so five tips I bet you didn't know, perhaps you know some of them, but hopefully I can surprise you with one or two. So. Tip number one, this comes from Will Thompson from the Microsoft Power BI team and he wrote like this on Twitter, did you know that you can use wildcards on the filter cards in Power BI, so on the filter pane, you know that you can add columns there to filter everything on the tab, you have visual filters, report filters and um, page filters. So if you have a filter there, you can actually, let's say that you add um, country, if you when you're you know, filtering for countries, you can add, for example, S and an asterisk, and that will filter by all the countries that have an S on the name. Really, really useful, isn't it? It will allow you to filter so much faster and so much better. It does not work with regex, so don't even try it. It allows asterisk and question marks, but that is really very good anyhow. So, tip number two comes also from the Power BI team, and this is from Charles Sterling, and he shares, did you know that you can actually add a contact as box in Power BI? And to do that, you do it with a simple text box. It's very, very easy. You add a text box, you add an asterisk, and you change that to windings, the, the font type. Once you, do, once you do that, it will turn into an envelope and then you can add a link to that text and you just write mail to and then your email address and then it will open your email program, Outlook or whatever you have. And then you can just write contact acts with the normal text and there you have it. They, they can just click on it and it will email you. Very, very useful. And then you can use it for support. Uh, oh, you get it, very, very nice. Um, tip number three comes from Lars Schreiber, also on Twitter, and he shared with us that you can actually, you know, when you're in Power Query and you're importing multiple tables, you get this panel, and the only way to select multiple tables is you, you have to click on the box, on the tick box, you have to tick all the boxes one by one. If you control click, you will be able to tick not only on the boxes, but also on the names, and it makes everything so much faster. So give it a go. It's really nice tip. Thank you, Lars. Tip number four. The tip number four is a tip that I absolutely love, and perhaps it, I, I don't know, we go through it. You know, drill, drill down uh, on a table, you can have, if you have a normal table, you can have drill down possibilities. So you can have a higher hierarchy on there. So you can go from beverages to products, for example. And if you drill down and then click on one of the rows, let's say that we have their queso cabrales and we click on that, it will filter everything else on the page on that filter, which is super, super useful. So if I click on Queso Cabrales, it will give me the category, it will give me the countries where it's sold, it will give me how much it is sold, just by clicking there. This is something that you can enable or disable if you want, so that option is yours. It is enabled by default though, so take care of that. And last but not least, one of my favorite things to teach in the world to all my customers, you can control click on all the visions now. You couldn't do it before. So you can, for example, click on beverages and then you can control click on products. Let's say that we control click on queso cabrales. So now we are filtering by beverages and queso cabrales. And then I can control click into a specific country that I would like to know more about just for this product and this category. Let's say I control click on Brazil and then it will filter everything else. That is so, 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 so useful. So did you know that? Now, I am actually curious. Did I manage to surprise you with any trick? I would love to know. So. If I did, just let me know how many below. And if you like this type of videos, just let me know by liking it so I know and I can do more of it. So it is actually all for today, but 
I'll see you again on Friday with another Dax Fridays. Bye!